blend electricity with the device called the capacitor. The basic capacitor is made with two flat metal plates facing each other. And that's idealized. In, in practice, they're made a different way. But uh, let's do a calculation here, trying to find the value of the electric field between the plates of a capacitor. And in this particular capacitor, you've got air in between the two plates. And the area of one plate is 0.32 meters squared, and same area for the second plate. The charge on each plate as a magnitude is 0 0.026 microcoulombs. One is positive charge, the other is negative charge. Uh, that's the way the capacitors operate. But the magnitude of the charge on the two plates is the same. We want to know the value of the electric field between the plates. And now there's some technical things. It's not quite a constant. It's nearly a constant. And at the edges is where we deviate the most from uh, the analysis that, that goes on here. Well, here's our uh, situation, our plates. And we want to know the electric field in between these plates. If I put plus Q here and minus Q here, what's the direction of the electric field? Now, electric field goes in the direction of positive charge would move if it's free to move. It's going to be repelled by positive, attracted to negative. So it's, it's going to cross off to the right. And if there are some equations for capacitors that uh, uh, connect parameters. One of these is the charge on each plate, the magnitude, is equal to the capacitance value times the potential difference between the two plates. So there's some potential difference V. Maybe one plate's at 0 volts, the other's at 9 volts. That would be 9 volts of potential difference. Um, 0 volts, 9 volts. Uh, technicality. Another um, equation is the capacitance value is equal to a constant epsilon naught multiplied by area divided by distance between the two plates. Notice that this is uh, geometry. Uh, the value of the capacitance does not depend on the charge or the voltage. What happens over here, the capacitor has a certain value. If someone changes the potential difference between the plates, hooks up to a 9-volt battery and then a 12-volt battery, the charge on each plate will adjust. So the, the charge and the potential difference do not control the value of the capacitance. Um, these two follow each other. Uh, C is a constant based on the geometry. Another expression that's useful is the electric field is equal to the potential difference divided by the distance between uh, the place where the potential has been measured. So the potential difference between the two plates, this would be the distance of one plate to another. So let's start rearranging here and see what we can accomplish in finding the, our answer for the electric field in this situation. I'm going to start with this electric field is volts per meter. What's the potential difference for a certain separation? And we're going to replace the V here using this Q equals CV equation. So if we solve this for V, I'd have Q over C. So I'm going to make that substitution. I'd have Q divided by C it's not a very good division symbol. Q divided by C and then over D. And I can drop the C down to the numerator to make this look a little cleaner. Um, looks like this. So the electric field can be calculated if you know the charge on the plate, the capacitance value, and the distance between the two plates. Um, we were not given the capacitance value. We're given Q and D. So let's get rid of the capacitance value. And to do that, we're going to use this uh, definition here. I'm going to replace C with epsilon naught A divided by D. So if I do that over here, I have Q and then replacing C with epsilon naught A over D and then we still have to multiply by D. What's going to happen down the denominator? These D's are going to cancel. This is D over 1, so it's a numerator. Here's the denominator. The D's cancel. And the electric field can be calculated by Q over epsilon naught and A. In fact, what we've been given. We were given the Q. We were given the A. The epsilon naught is a constant. 
So let's go ahead and put in those values, those numeric values. The electric field, 2.6 times 10 to the minus 8 coulombs. And there is an unfortunate uh, uh, kind of trap here. If I just write C here, you might think this stands for capacitance. But I'm writing in the value of charge. C is the abbreviation for coulombs, but I don't want to put it in because of the confusion with the capacitance symbol. Um, so we've got uh, the 2.6 times 10 minus 8 coulombs. Epsilon naught is a constant, 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 for standard metric units. And we were given the area of one plate, 0 0.32 square meters. Or standard metric units all the way across here, so we'll get uh, volts per meter for our electric field. You ought to put this into your calculator. <coughs> and if you have a graphing calculator, be careful. 2.6 times 10 to the minus 8 divide by this number, and then do a division again by this number. Um, so beware. If you don't get the answer that I have here, uh, ask someone for help on uh, doing division with your calculator or try it with some integers until you figure out what order you have to put in your uh, um, your divisions. Don't do this number, divide here, multiply by this, and you'll get the wrong answer. So 9.18 times 10 to the third volts per meter, and uh, you may be aware also this is Newtons per Coulomb, it would be 9.18 times 10 to the third uh, newtons per coulomb. That's the value of the electric field between the plates of a capacitor, where the, each plate is 0.32 square meters, and the charge is 0 0.026 microcoulombs. So keep practicing with that. Watch some more videos.